Today we have a Lasco Cyclone to clean because it's pretty dusty. And I'm going to show you how to take the front grill off. If you've tried this before and been frustrated because it wouldn't come off, you see there's these clips that go all the way around it. And it seems like it would be easy. But you have to remember to turn it around and take that screw out and that screw. There's two screws on the back holding the thing on and then it'll come right off. So I'm going to unscrew those things real quick and pull the grill off. Alright, the screws have been taken out. Now what you're going to want to do is just pull up on this and push, push down on that to all the uh, areas where there's a clip and the grill will come off. Obviously, make sure you unplug the fan before you do anything like this. Front cover is off. I can get to the blade. I'm not going to lie, that was kind of irritating to get off because uh, when you would get one clip undone, you go over to another clip and it would just uh, lock itself back on. So, keep that in mind. It might take a little bit to get it off. But now I'm going to take off the blade. Blade is now off. Sorry for the shakiness. It's right there. All you have to do on this fan is just pull on it. And it will come off. There's no clips or anything. So I'm going to vacuum the rear grill. I'm going to vacuum the motor out a little bit. And eventually I'm going to be taking this apart and oiling it. And you know, completely cleaning out the inside of the motor. Um, I'm going to wash the blade off. This uh, plastic shroud thing that goes over the motor just snaps on. so You don't have to worry about taking out any screws. Um, it looks like they may have intended for there to be screws because there's, some, there's four holes in it. And there's holes in the motor, but there have never been any screws in this particular um, fan. So I don't know what's up with that. We're going to... Vacuum out the motor. The main reason these motors fail is that they overheat because they have too much dust in them. So it's very important to vacuum all of that out, even if you don't take apart the motor. Um, on this fan, it is kind of shielded on the back. So you can't really get to it. So what you're going to want to do is just dismount the motor from the cage so you can get to the back of it. And there we go. All four of the screws that hold it to the fan are out. So now we can pull the motor away and clean the back. As you can see, it's quite dusty. Okay, the screws holding the motor together are all out, or at least uh, three out of four. This one's loose, but it won't come out for some reason. So the motor's ready to be split. And when you do this, Make sure the output shaft is clean so that you don't damage the bearing when you pull the, the motor half over this. Motor is all clean now. As you can see, got all the dust out of it. And uh, be very careful when you're separating the back half of the motor because you don't want to rip these wires off. So then you're screwed. So I'm going to oil it. Basically all you have to do for that is uh, around that bearing there's a bit of felt. Just wet that down with some oil and it will seep through the bearing material over time. And of course right before you put it back together I would put some in the bearing and on the, uh, on the motor shaft as well. So. Okay so the motor is put back together and oiled. If you're not comfortable with doing it um, you know, taking the whole motor apart, you can just use compressed air to blow it out, and you can uh, just get put some oil on this shaft and get it down into that bearing without taking it apart, because this is usually the uh, side that gets the most wear. The uh, rear bearing doesn't wear as much. And another thing to be sure of, um, you're, you're going to notice that it doesn't really spin very freely when you first put it back together. You're going to want to hit the shaft like that in all directions 
to realign the bearings and then it should spin nice and freely and uh, when you're putting the motor halves back together make sure you tighten the screws evenly um, almost like you would putting a, a wheel on a car